This is part 124 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. This is the final video and will wrap up this ASP.NET MVC course. This course is over 20 hours and contains 124 video clips. We've covered most of the ASP.NET Core MVC concepts that help you build real-world enterprise class data-driven web applications. There are few more concepts like partial views, view components, razor pages, blazer, etc. ASP.NET Core 3.0 is now released. So we'll cover these remaining concepts in our upcoming course that makes use of ASP.NET Core 3. You can find the complete source code of the project that we have built together as part of this course at this URL. So when you navigate to this URL, you'll find the source code in this employee management folder. If you click on the folder, it will open the folder. If you want to download it, click on this arrow. I'll have this link available both in the description of this video as well as on my blog. To set up and run this project on your local machine, you need two softwares. Visual Studio 2017, the free community edition works just fine. In addition, you also need .NET Core SDK 2.2. We discussed in detail how to download and install these two softwares in part 2 of this ASP.NET Core tutorial. After the source code is downloaded and the required softwares are installed, extract the source code from the downloaded zip folder and then open the solution file using Visual Studio 2017. Once we have the solution open, build it once to make sure it compiles and then we have to apply the database migrations. For that, we need to execute this update database command from the package manager console. This will create the database and all the required tables. If you are new to database migrations, we discuss them in detail in parts 50, 51 and 52. After the database migrations are successfully applied, you should be able to run the project directly from Visual Studio by pressing F5 or Control F5. If there are any issues running the project, please leave them as comments on this video and someone will surely get back to you. Finally, you can find slides, text version and all the videos of this course in sequence at this URL. So on this page, notice you have all the videos of this course in sequence. Your feedback is very important to us. So please provide your valuable feedback and rating for this course on the reviews tab. I hope you enjoy this course as much as I did creating it. Enjoy programming with ASP.NET Core and thank you.